ตุงโดดิงเลอะกัมซุงดิงอะเอ่อกะมะซังอะอะเกละอะเกละยาปังดิงอินมีกะโฮกะโฮบังอินขัดซาซงกะมุโดปวยอะตีไอฟาวนด
John Tan Hoi and Roman Light out here. In Ezekiel 22, 25 following, we can see a list of people who were corrupted. Hitilayachun Israel Bung Somnila ni Atun in Vietnam le, Poi Koi Ho Chuham Hitamanga in John Tan Bay Atun Ho Chu, a born in a kid Munahi. The prophets in verse 25. Hanatun. How long can I hold him? Hold him down, or I keep on him. Priest in verse twenty-six. Some some will go mad. Him go hold he. He's a liar too. Don't talk by the. Ne go bother too. The princes or rulers in verse twenty-seven. How so? How? Then how? I hear this. I keep on him. The prophets again in verse twenty-eight. Abanatun. How long can I hold? I hear this. I keep on him. And people of all the land in verse twenty. Just go ahead, Ben. Amila, Adam, Suga, Mipi, Hojo, Siang, Chun, Chon, Chad, Ben, and Negu, Chagu, Hin, Kuo, Mang, Ona, Hin. And because of all this sin, God looked for just one righteous man to stand in the gap. But Hita mga chu, Him po ako na, How na tango ako na, How sa ho, Gam sumbay po ho, Halang Mipi, Hojo, Sila, Chu, Negu, Chagu, Chon, Set, Ang Panato, Pati, Din, Alaya, Din, Din, Chua, Ho, La, Hiti, Isa, Ido, Ano, Mna, Hin. God is always seeking out men to stand in the gap. Pan hindi matilak kung nata hindi ko siya hindi matilak pati din alay din digin niya hold ng nahing. We see examples in the scripture of men who had the courage and insight to stand in the gap. Heya sa Bible at sa pati na ng mga pusalang sa apalay din ding ng ibukid ng nahing. Example can be Abraham interceding for Sodom. Heya sa Abraham in Sodom mite hindi nga anatao pichu in mga nahing. God called Abraham Moses to. To stand in the wilderness to stand for the Israelites. But he did mostly to dump them out of the way. But he did not even know what he was doing. God called Jonah for warning Nineveh. But he did Jonah to Nineveh the whole. Jesus didn't let him go home. Who in the two said it? And among the people, and God called the disciples to preach the gospel to the Gentiles and the Jews. Jesus Christ in said to his own that he had to Gentile all the opportunity to say it again. Am I an apostle in him? Likewise, in today's world, are we seeing the same kind of unrighteousness? Hita bang jun tu lai panen zong lay si na hin hiti lai pana chon set na tabang bang jun tu lai hin di hola ibutaw na hin. Who will stand in the gap? Hiti jun koy hamalaya ding ding di hola na hin. Who can stand in the gap? Hila mo na jun ding tay ding jun koy ham. And what qualities qualifies a person who can stand in the gap? Hiti lai jun ding ding a jun ipi ham a hin a ding jun jun ipi hin ding ang aisa ham ti. As see. As we see about the qualification of the person who can stand in the gap, that we will see three qualities. Hitlaya ding ding ho chu itabang bang hina na idu ham ti thumbeo ti. We will derive these qualities from three characters that we see in the Bible who are the giant of the Bible. Hitlaya chun hilaya lai ding thay ding ti ho chu chu Bible lai mu bang vid hilaya hitabang a hin ko mang mi thum chu ibat di bet. The spiritual giants. Thagawa. Bising, Nagawa, Hansen. So the first character that we will see is the is the person Elisha. Here to number seven, I'm going to do to Elisha in who he will be. The stories we can find in Second King four, verses one to seven. Lente ni na at ni move na he Elisha to sim to. And the character that we will and the quality that we will derive from Elisha is the quality of. Compassion, that is C. It is a hin ko to ibat diu to mingay lut na ane ibat ibat diu. So who is Elisha? Elisha to koy ham. Elisha was the successor of Elijah in the office of the prophets in Israel. Elisha to Eliza seizui him ga o nuzui ahiti imu na him. Elisha is called to follow Elijah. Elisha to Elisha to Elisha to a man who was reading and a copy of him. So Elisha, he was a prophet and a wonder worker also. He to Elisha to a man to till kid and bole patin na tam ahi ti imu na him. And a very compassionate person. A man to me he na ilu ta mi ahi ti a man he nu koy imu na him. Elisha's miracle it expresses compassion and also personal encounter with people, the ordinary ones. He to Elisha to me he na ilu na le. He lived his life with ordinary men, women, and people. He did not mind. Min imasim loho, may tight sa gaho ay lole. 
Minim, minim nung ho, ho, sana na inahim. And when we see his life, he is often found helping people in the battlefield or wherever people are in need. Elisayin ko ay hin, gala mi panpinahan lang, gilkil dang sa lahasan na kami panpinahin, amahin ko ay na kimunahin. He was always there for people in their suffering in their daily life. He chun mihemon gan teto teng le Elisayin chun panpinahan at borzing na him. Personal relationship played a very important role in the life of Elisha. Amahin ko atun mihim tehot akisap natur ti lopita ay nakimunahi. In Second King chapter four, verses one to seven, we see as the story of the widow's oil or the replenished oil. Lente bungli na tang sa gya kunsun hiti may tainu ading na amahin. One of the men of the company of the prophets had died. His life was not so. He was gone from him, but he na ato na akimunehi. Leaving his family destitute. Ain kote ho, ain gente ha sa to ad, gente to ho kito pina imunehi. Like people who today who are left with debts and also with medical bills when their loved one dies. Do lai, do lai ya. Dammo na ne ay will hospital bill tamta na ya bat tamta na ho taba ay chin chin may Thai pizza. The widow found herself in a desperate situation. Hindi sila mo na chin may Thai pizza. Lungkang ta amlay ta chin Elisa ay nagtulpin na hin. So the woman appealed to Elisha saying, "Hindi may Thai no chin Elisa ko masayen." That her creditors would take her child and enslave them if she did not pay. Hindi ka pa na ho chin. One of the things that we have always witnessed is God always sends His people at the right time. Elisha stepped into the woman's pain. He and he asked a simple question that was very comforting to her. And the compassionate question is, how can I help you? Now the only thing that the woman could claim that she had that was precious was an olive oil, small bottle of olive oil. It's in my type it's in till them can a boy olive town now sub. So, so Elisha entrusted her and, and told her to go and collect as many jars as she can in her neighborhood. The expectation for God's provision it grows as much as we expect. But he had an answer. He could have no answer. It doesn't seem well. It doesn't sound what the angel put in the book. It was he. At Elisha's direction, the widow and her and her children they poured in in the empty jars with the little olive oil bottle that they had. He said, "Elisha, may I be led to the church? Bear who are the olive towel? Church to Amawan Asung Town. He. They kept pouring until every jar was full. He said, "Olive town." Hindi hay daniel sa amtso sunbang ng gisayt ng talubin abelzo si to alin sa jing tanehi. And only then the oil stops flowing. Hindi abelzo si jing patun hindi tao to alin sa jing tanehi. And Elisha told her, you go and sell the oil and then pay the debt and also you can live with your child happily. Hindi Elisha na siyin hindi tao he kailangan besuin lang. The woman and her child experienced God's wonderful compassion through a man of God. What we see here is God often sustains His people quietly and powerfully in a way that we don't expect. His life is not patient. It is not patient. Why am I holding in? So the quality that we see is the quality of compassion, which means being there for people when they need you. His life was not so deep. Him, the Allah had in the witty bangutsun, me him the my chat, but na it will be the ya in the deal the amusa. I keep it sorry. Okay, has any of you heard of a woman becoming a mother right after her marriage? Dunia kita umum tu, nampak kan azizni ni ah nuhun izin teh, ni nehat ubang, nehat kata ubang, 
That also not of one child but 42 children. Now you may be thinking, what are you talking about? But it happened to me. Right after my marriage, the next day I became the mother of 42 children. That was a marriage shock for me. Because my husband, he already had 30 or 42 children before we got married. But please don't misunderstand, don't think this and that. <laughs> I mean, he has been taking care of children who were in need. And by seeing his care and compassion to the children, that pulled me towards them too. Being called Mama Mama by 42 children is not easy. It's not uh, very difficult. But my love for them grew so much that I love them and now I am the mother of 42 children. Compassion, it changes people. And we have become mother and father of so many children. We stand in the gap of orphans by being, uh, by showing the quality of compassion. So that is the first quality that we see. Let's see the second quality. That we From the character of Isaiah. Isaiah in who he And the quality is. C A. We are taking that from the acronym C A P. Yeah, so I'm a sailor. So the C to I like compassion to my do not hint to our two. A is available. What is the second one? Available. No, second one. Second one is the quality of availability. Okay. And in that so he there availability to do if I'm kiman sa umzing di na he. That means people can access you anytime. Me ho in a part si ane kaho pite, a kaho pite lam ka ihi mai. And you are there for people. Now when we see the character of Isaiah, what we see is that he is an Israelite prophet. And he is well known in the Bible for his prediction of the coming of the Messiah. Isaiah who would save people from their sin? Isaiah 6 8 says, Then I heard a voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then I said, Here am I, sent me. Isaiah was a willing volunteer in his service. A grateful and an enthusiastic Isaiah, he doesn't take chances, he just takes the opportunity. He was available for God. And for the rest of his life, he represented God. Available or availability means uptime plus downtime. That means in good time or in bad time, you are there for people who are in need of you. Whenever people need you, they can access you. I'm sure you all know that Dr. Angam, the one who is standing here near me, is a traveler. 
hit and no on the head of Katasanin, can they put up to them here? Cold in me, cold teasing me, he did head of Katasanin. He travels all over the world and mostly to Manipur. It is like coming here to carry water also. <laughs> so now he travels all over the world and you can see that he has ministry, children, home, orphanage, church ministry. If he go to USA, sometimes he travels for three months. Abang teng le, Amerika aci in satum sung ahun cam dan jita lehi. One month, two month, three month, that far, that far he goes. Hijun sakal hendi satum tiju al home pain in akul cizin lehi. Now how many of you women would sacrifice your husband like that? No me izad in nanti puhi tatu de soldo no mampi kado no menehi. Will you be able to survive one day without your husband? Zipa amlo wa ni kadum dong su hasa hiti hatsung kewehi. Maybe. Like many of you may be thinking, how is it possible that he travels like that, leaving everything behind? If you have that kind of question, let me answer you today. Twelve years back, I said, here am I, I am available. And I stood in the gap, and that is the reason he is able to travel everywhere. And like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, he has become more handsome and strong. Because he enjoyed my cooking for 12 years now. So how many women would be willing to stand for your husband? If you want to see your husband successful, are you there to stand in the gap? How is your home when your husband is not there? So I can say that he is lucky to have me. Yeah, I am also blessed and I am lucky to have him as my husband. And I can see in this conference there are so many young people. If you want to be lucky like me, don't waste your time. Say, here am I, I'm available and stand in the gap. I assure you there will be profit only no loss. Make yourself available. Especially for your family and in the, for your husband. And God will bless your family. So that is what we see, the two qualities. Now the last quality we will see is from the character of Elijah. And the quality that we would like to derive is the quality of prayer. Now who is Elijah? Elijah was a prophet in the northern kingdom of Israel. Elijah was also known for his powerful prayers. Elijah In James 5, 17 and 18, we see how Elijah prayed. Elijah was a man of uh, was a man with a nature like our us and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain and it did not rain on the earth for three years and six months. Eliza yang cuy ho tapa ngai hii na hinna patihin ko ma tau cun kum tumla na buk cu gozulubin am te na hii. There was drought. 
Then he prayed again and the sky poured rain and the earth produced its fruits. Hizi to the Liza to tau ke de le pathen din bana punin goju sa ke din le si to chap do ke tane. Can you just imagine how it feels how it will be with not raining for three and a half years? Ga ngai to ite kum thum le la gum chu goju lo we nom ta le ita bang le si chu gan the to ta dam ti ngai to de. Everything will come to a standstill. His Liza to thing na lo na ho zo what we what we see from the life of Elijah is that the prayer of a righteous man is always answered by God. And the prayer is always powerful and effective. Elijah was just an ordinary man. Elijah to now this is a point to be noted. He was used by God to do amazing miraculous things. Elijah's power came from God. And this was in response to Elijah's prayer. The point is this, when the situation seems very bleak, why should we doubt that God can do a wonderful thing? God will definitely work in response to our prayers. We are not relying in some powers within ourselves. We are asking God and He is the one who is acting. Prayer works, God answers and He responds. Now when I say that there is a prayer of my husband that I sometimes I fear. He used to pray, if I am not living to serve God, then it is better that I don't live. For a wife to hear a husband pray like that, that's very scary. Now why am I mentioning that? Because I am a living witness to the prayer that he has prayed. He has stood in the gap for IBMC and he has been praying for all of you. IBMC le patin kika le patin le mipi kika adena he kan dey puhi dingzina he ti chu ka sei do no mere he and that's why i can boldly say god has blessed IBMC so far and we have come come thus far he ji chun kan nei puin mi dhilonga ta na ji chun patin in ibi sono le patin na to na hi ama charging he ti kamu na hi god uniquely positions every person patin in yo do se hi in specific roles and influence and to influence people by the design that God has made. So the punchline is this. Are we willing to stand in the gap by praying? By being a man and woman of prayer. Because we, as we all know, there is moral corruption growing every day. We have corrupted leaders. Hello, Lankai, John C. Lankai, but he to deny you. Prophets, he said, Tim, how the tongue, Tagawa, Ding, that low tongue, that in a town, he had the shepherds in the church, he said, How Bumsuma, Lankai, hello, but he no day of a ton in a town, false vision, he had to a gow to say not the low, lace it, but don't let him go to say, Tanta in a town, false teaching, 
he jun tui in lem tam ta ene dang na hing now when we see all this it is very scary he told those he but they are christian coding in this atom ta ene dang na hing there are all sorts of deception in the church and also in the society ko sung a hing ho tung sung a hing chon sen na ai lo le ki do na le se na ne gu cha gu na zin se e mu taw na hing who will stand in the gap he said i will not go ham alaya ahom laya ding ding chu to plead for these people he said holding out to me lo nga taw ding chu ko im wang ti ko se and ask god to save them but he in ama ho chong ai dam the ding apalaya pon ding ngai saw na he there is a desire and a satisfaction that people are all are seeking and that can be found only in jesus christ i am like so at an alaya ding ding chu but he na ho light in ko ima ke ma bon jesus christ sa bo chu but he na so and he alone was the correct and the perfect a person who stood in the gap between God and man Jesus Christ above to me he let but he kick a ding ding in and as he was over there now this time in the conference my children they do not have holidays do lie in conference so in katate ni in school a hin suti yo am pon at one time i thought maybe it is better that we don't go Parga chum chum o cha te ni le kha sim ding zin ki chi da zin han ti jong ka ge le na he but my husband was adamant that we should go because nothing is more important than spiritual benefit kan nei pu he alum ta he zeng in pathin thu sang a le kha sim koi mo he poi ti in apam dat cha ke ta na he and so sacrificing their classes and all we came he jong ka cha te ni le kha sim di ho do si chu kan bo ta no ba ka hung ze wo ni because we want them to be blessed and see what the father is doing ipisinam ti ka cha de ni na pa na to na chu ipi ham ti am yo a a head on din ka no ze he how many of you exclude your children out of the church do ni mi nu mi pa is an in how wing su ga na cha te in pui lo wa a thep jil na ho da ho sa do ham ti ka sei do no how many of you don't know what your children are doing nu la pa te ni za ni na cha te ni pi bo ham ti na he ro hinam ti ka do no ki da na he and some people uh, some parents when they bring the church uh, the children to the church also they give them mobile and they are busy they are watching only mi nu mi pa ta ta in cha te ho na pui min tu la in ho in su ma mobile ham ne the ma pe bin ho in su ma chat pathin tu ong ai how will the children learn he ji cha pom ho chu ni ti tu pathin tu a jil the diu ham as parents we need to stay stand in the gap even for our children he ji nu la pa te ho ko cha te a de nga al home la ya ding ding ki tim ki no na he mendin the broken relationship that is there is laya chun pathin to ki zop na a home la ju hu bing ding pa ngo he for lastly what i would like to say is a chai na ka sei do nom chu are you able to stand in the gap nam ho it a home la ya chu na din thei de na din nga mo hina and i want to assure you you can surely stand in the gap a yin tu din ka sei do nom chu ka ta sa ne na ki pe do na din thei de de hi ti ka sei do nom na he when you remember this three word c a p cap ya chu c a p the c le a the p chu e ga do jing nu ka c is the compassion ha the c chu na i look na a is availability a chu ha ti na aman sa um jing and p is prayer Peter Hans in a thousand me ye hin jitu a power bang to in sa power to chan kal le then you can definitely stand in the gap hit up ma chu nang jong alaya na din din the hi may everyone be blessed praise god but he did meeting they do se pathe mota han ka ke pa e